What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. The opening of the sword smith, 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 smith village arc. Tanjiro, Muichiro and Mitsuri. All in line, looking off to the left hand side. So, I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. We will start with Mitsuri in the front, right? So just here along the sort of middle line, right? We got our eye, okay? Just along halfway, center point of my page is about here. So I'd say that's where I will put her eye, right? And... Curve line, go. Boom, just there, right? Bottom eyelid line comes down this way, there. And then we have to add eyelashes, right? So she's got like pretty long eyelashes all here. These little hooks and curves, right? So you could just go around maybe first with a spike at the end, right? Or is there two spikes? Yeah, there's another little spike sticking off here. And then we'll just darken this up. Eyelashes then come off from here. Loads of them. You get thicken up the bottoms, maybe. Mm -hmm. Another little one there's there. Okay. And then eyelashes coming off the bottom. So we just have slightly darker. Right. And then just little V's kind of sticking off here. Like so. So then her iris just comes down from the top of her eye. So like looking over this way, right? So you got like the front curve just there. And then a little curved line at the bottom and bring it back up. So you're drawing basically an ellipse, right? Just there. And her eye, her pupil on the inside is just like, it's a dark green section, but it has, well, I will have to draw it in, I guess. So we'll just put it like she's looking over this way. And it's dark green in there, and then there's like hatching lines just on top of it. Right. She's a little freckle underneath her eye. Just like so. And then above her eye, we have an eyelid line just coming around here. And then her eyebrow very arched up and across this way. Thicken up her eyebrow a little bit. We add a little spike just here. And then it goes back and down. We color it black. So her nose, just in front of her eye here. So we'll curve it around and it gets real pointy at the front. Curves around like so. Back down like that and she's a small nostril here and then so curve down to her top lip like so the bottom lip sticks out like this so it's kind of like a letter m sort of shape inside here and then where her lips meet you just have this sort of downturned kind of mouth area goes down to her chin just down around here 
And in Demon Slayer, they always have this sort of shadow, this little triangle underneath their bottom lip. I think every character has it. Okay, so neck, right? So neck and jaw. So neck sort of comes this way and curves down like so. And the jaw comes from the chin, right? So it'll go up here and they leave a little bit of a gap and they add another section like so. The ear just curves around, disappears underneath her hair. Just a curve line there. And then the earlobe just goes in up this way. And some other ear lines just under here. So it all disappears underneath her hair. So her forehead just comes out from her nose, right? So it goes out and curves up. Some of this will be covered by hair, but we'll draw it in. So it goes back this way. And then we just have a sort of a zigzag pattern line just for the hair underneath. And then her fringe up. down like that the other side comes across her face a little bit here and then should we have to add these square sort of hair spikes right so we have these square ends to them the wind is kind of blowing them back across her head here this one actually will go pretty long up there and then a bit of a bump going down that way back into the middle some texture lines in under here and then our fringe just goes up out the other side Anything you draw over, you just erase or color over, of course. So then she's got more hair that sticks out this way. Starting there. And then we bring it down. Around like so. And it kind of comes onto her forehead here. Back up. Underneath of her hair here. Another little spike out here. And then the rest of her hair all tied in braids, bumping out this way, right? So, so it goes big round sort of bumps just like this and then another one here it goes off my page and then we can just see the other braids around the other side of her head just here And we add textures to all this. So just these sort of curved lines that follow the shape of each one. Okay, and then this kind of wraps around here. So these texture lines go this direction. But these ones will go around this way. Okay. These ones. 
go here, there. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry now, but I had another picture. Where is it gone? There you go. Okay. So then that goes that way. And then this one goes here. And then that way. Okay, so that's her hair. So then we have her collar, right? Comes out here, her Demon Slayer sort of uniform, curves out here, comes back in. And then it steps down again and down here. And then we have her white sort of cape or cloak or kimono, whatever sort of term you'd have for it. Just coming over her shoulder down this way, like a shoulder line. It's all flowing back off the page. Right? She goes off the page that way. And then, so this color has another white section inside here and it meets a black top and then a white line just going that way. And this goes down there. And then we can just see like her hair at the back of her neck there and then more texture inside and then she has another side to her uniform so her white collar comes out here down like so and then another section there and this bumps out a little bit down that way and then there's like a button here and then the collar on the other side of her neck remember if I go too fast use your pause button and then another collar line and then another shirt line there and a line for her chest in there and then we can just see two more bumps for her hair. And another, actually, sh her shoulder here. And another hairline that way. Yeah, and then this has texture and another collar line there. So her hair has texture, just wrapping around here, like so. So then, so Muichiro next. I think that's everything for the Love Hashira. So, Mist Hashira, head higher up, Tanjiro's is the lowest down, right? So. His head is like up here. Let's see. We start with his eye. Curved line just up here. Bottom eyelid line down that way. And he's like a slight another line just underneath his eye there. So dark and up the eyelashes. Got a couple of spikes sticking off and you just color it black or dark, shade it dark with your pencil. Okay. His iris then, oval, curving down like that, similar. And then goes back this way. And he just has a light, green section and then a dark. So we'll just draw that sort of oval and then some hatching again. Just going in here. Mm 
top eyelid line just comes across the top of his eye there and then a big eyebrow line just goes back and then thicken it up and thinner at the back color it black okay so his nose then again it sort of curves out around here right so we've got like sticking out this way and his brow is kind of here and then we'll curve it around and then a nostril and then his top lip again out and in meet the bottom lip becomes like a letter M here And then his lip line just downturned going that way. And then his chin comes down around. Same same style face, just she has like a pointier nose, right? So you'll go just around for the chin, down for the neck. And then the jawline comes out from there. A bit of a broken line going up towards his ear and on Muichiro we can't see his earlobe because it goes behind his hair we'll just finish his forehead what we can see of it just curves up this way and then he has like loads of hair spikes but they're kind of out of focus they've done like some effects so his long one will go down here and then we can see his Demon Slayer uniform out and around there. And then we got like some white lines inside like that. And we can actually see a neckline on him. And that other long piece of hair, the back of it comes down that way. And you'll have some texture lines just there. His ear then comes out from behind. Pretty big ear, bumping around like so. And then ear lines inside there. This kind of a thing. So then his fringe hair spikes come all over his head. side some of them kind of stick out this way and then we bump around his head this will go off my page now and then we'll kind of have some more long real long hair right so it kind of bumps off the page and then we'll go back in here somewhere and then like real long sort of hairlines going this way and like his shoulder comes out sort of here somewhere so his arm is going back this way this is like his elbow I think and then clothing sort of fold lines and then more long hair we can see some of the green spikes on this. Like so. So they're like green there and black then. You can see a bit of his hair at the back here on his neck. So he's a long hair spike, spike that comes down here, a couple of them, and then his the handle of his sword. So the handle of his sword just comes out here. It's 
kind of round on the top. And then we bring it back in. And a little bit oval ellipse sort of size there. And then there's a brass top. And then we have some like diamond style samurai shapes there. I like some like rope all wrapped around it. And then we can just see like some more of his uniform, like the center line for it going down behind Mitsuri's face, a button here, and then like long hair coming down behind his sword, just wavy, you could do it anyway, just add a spike on the end. Here and some like green lines there. So his uniform like goes around his shoulder on that side. And then maybe another, what's that? Is that Tanjiro or, no, it's his hair spike. Because Tanjiro's clothing is like green and black as well. So it's kind of confusing. <laughs> so there, and there, clothing line that way. Okay, so now we can just fit Tanjiro just in here. So I, about here, a bit lower down, so we're about, I'd say we go, yeah, we're a bit lower down than Mitsuri, so we'll start it here. Curve line, going back that way. Big spike on the end. Demon Slayer, spiky eyes, curving around here. And just we'll color it black. So little spikes at the front of the eye in Demon Slayer style. Bottom eyelid line goes down that way. And he's got like a line around his iris or his eye there. And then again, the eye is sort of turned to the side. So we curve it down. Bring it around. And Tanjiro's eyes, well, they're usually angled, but... We'll do it that way, and a skinny white sort of iris line turned on its side there. And then his eyebrow, his eyelid lines are like under his eyebrow. So it kind of angles a couple of times down that way. And then it's thicker at the front. And just like an eyelid line there. Going down that way. Sorry now if you hear noise in the background. So his nose then sort of sticks out here, curves out and then back around. And then we have a nostril and then the forehead comes around this way. And it just goes, so goes, yeah, goes up here. And we start to see sort of zigzag lines for that hair spike stuff that he has. And then top lip sort of comes down this way. Again, meets bottom lip like a letter M. Same sort of thing. Chin goes straight down around. And then the mouth, mouth line just here. And then bottom lip, like so. So again, the chin meets the neck. Down that way. And then the jaw comes out from the chin area. 
like so and it's kind of a broken line that goes up to his ear this is the bottom of his ear then goes underneath his hair and then the ear lines inside like that so Tanjiro's hair okay and his scar scars all stretched out is that because we're looking at him from the side let's see so hair spikes right so he's got like these red and black hair spikes down into there and then coming out from this side of his head down in behind Muichiro's face I forgot the shadow on his lip actually and then Tanjiro's spikes come out from there around this way and Tanjiro has all these red lines around his hair spikes and you do kind of have to draw them in just to know where they are and stuff so say what well, we'll do is earring first because it goes like this way behind here just like a rectangle and with the patterns on it the land and the sun and the rays hitting the land and then we can see like some more hair back here somewhere and these are like some red sections red here I think this is just more of his hair spikes and stuff so then it has some black inside black spikes here and that's red right and then outline these ones like so ear line in there and then we got another red section inside there and just going up and then outside of all these is going to be red as well There. Scar on his forehead, so we just have these bumping sort of spiky lines. Skin and then these little scar lines there. So then Demon Slayer uniform, so we've got like some necklines. Okay, so his collar then comes across the front, curves down like so, and then he's got like a curvy kimono collar going that way, and then the back of that goes here, and then we have another shirt line or uniform line with a button on the front, and then we have the white collar just going here. And this has lines inside as well, just following that shape down there. This comes down like so. That's a green box. And then he has green and black boxes on his kimono sort of here. So I think that's black, that's green, green, black. Another going that way, and then two, two, that way, 
And oh yeah, other earring on this side of his head. Like so, opening of Swordsmith Village Arc. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.